So I got my saw horses out. I got my first sheet of plywood ready. Now, it's a little bit cumbersome as it is right now. I could start drawing on it, start laying everything out. But luckily for me, the Wa'apa canoe here, nothing is bigger than a half sheet. So I'm gonna just start by cutting it in half. And then I'm gonna start drawing to the dimensions needed so I could cut out the basic shapes. Here's my sketch. You can see the bow there. It's got this gradual sweep all the way back. I know it's pretty faint, but it appears pretty good in pencil. This line right there, that's a guideline that just determined where its height is in the middle. And now all I have to do is take a jigsaw, cut out this shape, and then use it as a template for the next side of the main hull. Okay, now I have all these panels cut to size, um, at least my main ones that are going on the side. But to be able to connect them to make one continuous boat, I'm going to have to scarf the wood. And um, what that means is I'm gonna to have to take both the, these panels and cut them at a very shallow angle so I can glue them together and it'll be the same thickness the whole way through. Uh, now these are a quarter inch thick, the angle I'm going to use for my scarf is 10 to one. Some people do eight to one. Um, and what that means is for every one inch of thickness, it's gonna be 10 inches long. Now, because this is a quarter inch thick, each of these is going down a two and a half inches or five inches combined. So what I'll do is 
I, you, as you can see, I put some lines on here at my two, two and a half inch mark. I'm gonna clamp these together right at that mark. That way I'll have a continuous run down there. The other thing I'm gonna do to make sure that, sorry, the other thing I'm gonna do to make sure that this is a nice even angle the whole way is I have a metal bar clamped underneath and I have a metal bar I'll clamp on top here. I'm gonna use a straight edge and I'm going to determine exactly where it is that I could put this bar on top and sitting on the bottom and it lines up with this line on top. That way when I use my saw it'll just slide across and when it's hitting both marks it'll be at the perfect angle. So first thing I have to do is clamp this whole board so it doesn't move anywhere then I'll make sure I get it in the right position then I'll get a uh, big saw or sorry sander and I'll sand this all flat. It'll take a lot of passes, but it's gonna be the smoothest way without having a good jig or some fancy tool for it. Okay, so as you might notice, things aren't super perfect here, and that has to do with a lot with the quality of wood I used. I really cheaped out, got the cheapest wood I could find, which will be fine. And so there might be some gaps. It's gonna be filled with epoxy, but I got this nice shallow angle, so that should do a nice scarf there and should still hold pretty tight. Okay, so I have my scarf joints cut. I have my panels aligned. You can see here, these are both my sides and they're about 16-ish feet long, but now they need to be connected together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some wax paper, put it underneath. I'm gonna slightly thicken some epoxy with a little bit of wood flour, so it's more like a syrup consistency. And I'm going to brush it in between the two layers. Once I do that, I'm gonna make sure everything's aligned properly going to layer it with wax paper, put a big heavy board on top, a couple of paint cans to weigh it down, and then don't touch it for 24 hours.
Okay, I have the epoxy on. I have everything straight. Very important that right now, everything is as straight as it's ever going to be. It's never going to be able to change again. So it's all straight. The epoxy's in. Um, thickening it helps it fill some of these gaps. Because this wasn't great plywood, there's a little more gaps than I like. This is gonna fill it. It's gonna make it probably a little bit stronger than the rest of the wood altogether. So now all I gotta do is take another piece of wax paper, overlay the whole thing. Wax paper is great with epoxy, it doesn't stick at all. Put a big board on there, put some weights on, and I'm done. I won't come back for a solid day.